litigation lex here this woman unfortunately went to a disney restaurant and she stated that she had a severe dairy and nut allergy the waiter said no problem we can accommodate you however unfortunately she ended up consuming something that she was allergic to and was unalived her widow her husband ultimately sued disney about this and disney came in with their bevy of attorneys or their army of attorneys and were like no 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 you have to uh, you can't sue us you have to arbitrate this because there's an arbitration provision in our disney plus um streaming membership which the husband allegedly signed up for a free membership as well as had purchased tickets so they were fighting in court about this, that they had to go to arbitration. Now they're going to be allowed to litigate it and they don't have to go to arbitration. However, the question is, why did Disney want this to be arbitrated so badly opposed to allowing them into court to litigate it? Because it is more advantageous for Disney to have this being brought before an arbitrator than for this to potentially go before a jury where you would have mothers or, you know, parents that were part of the jury who could award large sum verdicts based on Disney's actions. This is why Disney does have their attorneys one of the reasons put arbitration clauses into their agreements. So as just a tip of the day, first of all, as an attorney, I'm going to advise you always read any contracts that you're going to sign, read them before you sign them. But also you want to check, are there arbitration clauses in there that if you happen to have to sue under that contract, that you would not be able to go into court, that you would have to go and put it before an arbitrator. Uh, comment below, tell me what you think. And don't forget to follow.